Aloha. Welcome to the 40th Annual Hawaii International Film Festival, presented by Holly Kalani and our discussion with Gerard Elmore, uh, the director of Kahuakai, The Journey to Mary Monarch. Uh, we would like to extend our thanks to uh, Film Hawaii, Hawaiian Airlines, Nichols Family Film Fund uh, for sponsoring this program uh, in our uh, Made in Hawaii section. So um, without further ado, uh, here's Gerard. Gerard, how's it going, man? Good. You know, considering <laughs> I think we started this conversation before we hopped on, yeah. um, every, our whole world is kind of turned upside down for filmmakers um, yeah. and, and also how we present your films, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, hence we're doing these pre-recorded Q and A's. We're all working from home, you know, being uh, you know socially distant and what have you. I mean, this is kind of definitely a um, a wrench in 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 filmmaking in general, but also in every everyone's everyday life, you know. So, but you know, we're we're trying to we're figuring it out ourselves. So, um, you know, hence we're we're going primarily virtual uh, for the festival and also having some select uh, live screenings, you know. So. Um, and just being, you know, just adhering to kind of various, uh, especially from um, socially distanced protocols, you know, so we can like be all safe and healthy. Um, but, um, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're very honored to have uh, this film as part of the festival. Um, you know, it's kind of like very much, um, it's interesting to have this context now uh, with this global pandemic. You know, I mean, you know, this year's Mary Monarch, uh, which is like, you know, really, you know, it's, it said it said many times in the docu- your documentary that it's, it's the Super Bowl of hula competitions. It totally is, especially if you reside in Hawaii. It, it's like you know, it's broadcast live. Everyone watches it. You know, it's a big, 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 big business for Big Island uh, uh, it's, when it comes to you know tourism, but also just basically, you know, just kind of like a jewel when it comes to uh, uh, you know. Uh, 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 of an event for Hawaiian culture in general, right? So, um, you know, just it's just to see. I mean, I rewatched it again just to you know for this to prep up for this Q and A and other, and like just having that context, like, oh man, it's like you know, you know, can this like way of how we did it, how you know, people, how participants, you know, when they how, how they train, how they um, how they you know basically congregate, how they basically uh, dance, how you know even the live event itself, how people. Uh, experience Mary, Mary Monarch. I mean, it's going to be changed forever. You know, hopefully it won't. You know, but um, but you know, just this documentary is um, you basically, uh, in a nutshell, follow three halals right uh, on their journey to during the 2019 Mary Monarch uh, festival, right? So, can you talk about how? What was the inception? The idea behind um, this documentary and how you got involved. Yeah, and that's a good intro, Anderson. I'm, you know, because we are, everything has changed, and you know, we made this, you know, pre all this, all this stuff that's happening now. So it's almost it's so weird to watch it now, because it's like, oh, that's what we used to do, and I, hopefully we do that soon. Um, but the inception of this was actually, you know, um, NMG Network. That's you know where I work at. Uh, was approached by Hawaiian Airlines to follow three uh, Hawaiian Airlines employees. Uh, of course, what makes that different is usually when we do that, it's going to be like a commercial yeah. and it's heavy branding. Right. And, uh, and of course, you, you're thinking we're, we're going to be selling Hawaiian Airlines. But yeah. anyone that, that sees the film knows that we don't talk about Hawaiian Airlines. We don't even yeah. mention their Hawaiian Airlines yeah. employees. Uh, just solely... Uh, focused on their journey and, and what it feels like. Um, and Hawaiian was fully uh, backing it, uh, doing it that way, which was um, they gave us the reins, um, very little input. Um, pretty much their their words were uh, follow them and see what happens. Um, mm. And we had no story. We had no uh, – preconceived storylines it was like let's follow these three people and see what happens and and i think the that word said elisa said was just keep shooting and see if you could figure it out right. <laughs> so uh, and that's ideally what we did uh, we just kept shooting until the story kind of came to view uh, and, and 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 when it did it was quite clear how how to finish it 
So were you, uh, were, were the kind of uh, the, the three subjects already pre-selected before you were approached or were you, um, uh, you know, were you involved in that process as well? Yes. So um, there was kind of a, a hui at Hawaiian Airlines, like who at Hawaiian could, could be good um, people to fault, not just good like employees, but like who can represent the the art of hula you know um, as best as it can be you know so it's it's, right. it's not just like hawaiian airlines like they're a great employee or anything like that and they are but um who's going to be the rock stars and um so we suggested on our team we suggested a a dancer from a dancer uh, perspective from a kumu, uh, kumu hula perspective, mm-hmm. and also as more of a, a, leg- a legacy perspective, and someone that might be passing it on. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's kind of how we came. Uh, uh, we ended up with the three people that we followed. Right. Uh, so who were, I mean, who, I mean, because it's basically the three halals, but the, who were the actual, like, Hawaiian Airlines employees that were, were, were chosen? That's a good question. If you're asking, that's that's actually you know that's I great. Mean, I mean, it's great. You know, it's, it's, not, yeah. it's not branded content. It's not yeah. advertorial. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because their their end goal is to show people that you know it, it's it's not always about themselves. It's about yeah. you know, the bigger message. And so the the three employees was Lono. Um, Lono was uh, the Hawaiian Airlines employee for um, that halau. And uh, Kamalani Ho uh, was the one for the Ho family uh, with Lomi right. Ho, and then the, oh, no, the dancer, that's the one in Pololo, right? Um, I think so. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, they were chanting by the water. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that, that's no, Kalihi. Kalihi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Please, definitely, Lono and Keanu. Got it, got it, yeah, got it. And Taija, yeah. yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. Um, and then um, Tao uh, is a flight attendant um, as well. So he he took that dancer perspective and yeah. uh, asked his yeah, and so he asked his Kumu if it was okay to follow. And he was uh, he was in he was in Kale Wolford's film, right? Yes, so the, the, the Hamana, and and that's how I originally met him. Um, oh, so okay. uh, when they said Tao was one of the the names or people, I was like, ah, I know Tao from yeah. uh, from from Hamana because I worked on yeah. that as well with yeah. Keo and with Tao. So that's right. Yeah, uh, very yeah. cool to, to see. The, it's good to see a familiar face. And then uh, you know, for all the viewers out there, if you know, the Hamana uh, was a you know a narrative feature film that was actually cl- closed. It was actually closing that film at uh, at the film festival, I think, in 2012 or 2013. I just don't re- recall, but but it was like, wildly popular. Uh, and then you know, it's, it, you know, it's, I think the DVD is out, and I think it's available on some streaming sites. So you, if you want to see a narrative feature, I kind of call like the bad news bears of hula male hula halals. <laughs> like you know, I mean, you know, in a very very good way. You know, like it's like yeah, uh, I, I highly recommend uh, checking that film out. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, you know, regarding so you, you got your subject. So, so like, talk about like the so you, you you so the kind of like the the, the timeline. You know, it's so like obviously, I mean, you you started with them basically practicing in their you know at their you know basically uh, at their, at the gyms at the practice sites and stuff like that. So was this still was this late late twenty eighteen or? No, <laughs> 2019, uh, okay. you know, and, and uh, uh, it was probably like three or four weeks out. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It oh, yeah. seems, it seems like it, it was seems a long, like it was like a long, you know, like, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But it, no, it's is, only literally, literally like a month before Mary Monarch. Wow. Yeah. So okay. that's why this, this whole thing, uh, no, we keep, describing it as magic uh, because a lot of things had to fit in place for it to be the film that you see. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, a lot of luck, uh, a a lot of just hard work and grinding it out Um, because there's a lot of things, you know, when we were editing, we are like, it would have been great to start early to get kind of the discovery of Taija and her genealogy and um, some other other conversations that they were talking about. But 
you know, <laughs> we we didn't decide on the people until like a, it was probably like a month out before right. we started filming. Yeah, and, and then it was like. It's full hard, throttle, hard scramble, <laughs> like the scrambling again. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, because yeah. you got you got three different groups that yeah. you're tracking, and the thing that I, you know I can't stress enough is it was just one team, and the team for this film is like three people, so um, you know because our our budget <laughs> was uh, you know Hawaiian kind of you know put what they had left over, kind of like the change right uh, of budget to. To kind of like do this thing, and they didn't even know what it was going to be. So, right um, this, here this we are. All, this is all we have in our marketing budget. Go, go, and go make it, Gerard. <laughs> basically, right? Yeah, yeah so, basically yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so it, it is like uh, totally bootstrapping and uh, against all odds because it's like we don't know what the story is going to be. We, we don't know where it's going to go. We don't know how long we're going to have to shoot. We don't know if, uh, what kind of budget. You know, uh, this is gonna re- realistically gonna take to to make it good. Um, so, you know, uh, so we go in that with that mindset being as small and nimble as possible, because what that allows us to do uh, is 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 that uh, allows us to do much more because we're able to kind of uh, um, you know, go in and out when we need to. Um, so. Um, that that's kind of the important part, but a month out um, is is kind of crazy, and yeah. and and it was one of those cases where I was like, I can't mess it up. Yeah, I know what this means. Um, we're gonna go full throw, whatever it takes. I, I mean, like, uh, um, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, a lot of like, uh, you know, uh, local filmmakers or, or like, you know, basically, uh, you know, cameramen, crew. Uh, uh, in the uh, in the in in Hawaii's uh, film and TV video industry, a lot of them work on the Merry Monarch, you know, as video switchers, camera camera people, what have you, you know, usually for the uh, live broadcast, right? And 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 what? So did you? I mean, did you have you worked on the Merry Monarch uh, as a live event before, or did you have crew members who who worked on it, who cover you know covered it as a live event? No, never, okay. never worked on Merry Monarch. Uh, of course, I know a lot of guys that do, and yeah. That was a, another part of luck, which is Vince Kiel Lucero yeah. was working it that particular year. So he was able to kind of tell me the do's and don'ts of what we can do. And right. um, for people who don't know, um, you there, there are no outside cameras allowed to right. shoot yeah. at Mary yeah. Monarch. So that's one of the big reasons in the film you don't actually see uh, kind of our cameras capturing uh, what's going on. Because yeah. it's... it's yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I mean, like it's a, which is really interesting. I think one of the highlights of the documentary is that you actually have, uh, uh, you know, like, um, you know, kind of the, the live feed, you know, the Ki TV live feed or something. Uh, it starts off with the performance. The, I think one of the, the Hulu adventures does an Oli, right? And like it's like, and I'm like, oh, okay, they're just going to show the the live feed, and then you cut to your dramatic, you know staged uh you know like her now now she's on the black sand beach you know and like i'm doing it and it, it just resonates and you have all the different pieces all within nature and you know to, so or like in a valley or on the beach or something like that and it's just like uh it's a very dramatic effect and i think it's very very powerful can you talk about kind of the the, the idea behind it and i'm sure because of the truncated schedule must have been crazy just to like plan all of that you know yeah yeah and 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 so uh um that's a good point because the that came about because i knew i at one of my the first meetings with hawaiian was like can we shoot at mary monarch uh like probably not uh can i like uh, you know do something in the rehearsals or something like that it's probably not gonna look the same uh yeah so i was like so what can i do um and so I settled on, hey, we're going to do the same dance. And, and that's part of what the process is. It's the same dance, and it becomes muscle memory. Mm-hmm. So I could literally take the, take the dance and put it into uh, something that uh, resonates with what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, because almost all the hula uh, is connected you know, to to something and it's connected to the Aina is connected to 
our surroundings. So it made sense to go outside of Merry Monarch and, and ground it to what it actually means. Mm-hmm. Um, and so uh, with Taija, um, you know, I, I actually came up with the idea, can he go to YPO Valley? Because that's where the, kind of uh, where her ancestors are from. Yeah, yeah. And they wanted to do it, but they actually didn't do it. Um, they usually do protocol before you go to Mary sure. Mark and yeah. there are certain things you do, but that, it wasn't on the list because they had too much going on. Yeah. So after our interviews, after Mary Mark, after everything, I said, it'd be really good if we can go to YPO Valley. And they're like, yeah, let's, let's see it. And then um, I kind of showed towels, like what we, we were doing with towels. And then they're like, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> we'll, we'll try, try to make it work. And so did you film Tao's Tao's uh sequence before Mary or after? The, after. Okay, after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, after because okay. I wanted specific looks and yeah. for each. Um and and so for for Lono and Keanu when they when they finally went, it was quite an adventure. Um, you know, they kind of turned and they said, Thank you for this. You know, this, yeah. this is yeah. something we should be doing and you inspired us. And I was like, right. I, I, you know, from, from a filmmaking point of view, it's the full journey, you sure. know, you're, you're finishing up. And for yeah. them, when they filmed that, it was, they were finishing their journey as well. They yeah. were finishing that whole process and that whole year. And, yeah. Um, but it's also, felt- it's also different because there con- there's a different connection. I mean, in, you know, during Mary Mar- 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 Monica, of course, they're feeding off, you know, the vibes of the audience, but, in this more intimate saying, they're feeding off the vibes of the Aina, right? Like the land. And you can even look at Tao's, like, I mean, like her Oli, like it's like, you know, I mean, when, when she's doing it at, the, at, at Mary Monarch, it's like, you know, it's projection. It's like, you know, like when, when she's doing it like alone on the beach, it's like very, it's even the, you know, her cadence and, you know, her, her the voice is, you know, the way, you know, she's projecting is very different. And, uh, and I think it's like, uh, and it just kind of like shows kind of like, um, but it's still very equally as powerful, you know? So I, I really like that, uh, that stylistic choice that you guys made. So, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure, like you said, they, were, they felt, you know, grateful for that. And I'm sure, like, Mary Monarch in the future will probably do that later, too. <laughs> like, you know, uh, you know, because I think that's a great idea. Um, so, I mean, you made, it, you made it for Hawaiian Airlines. I mean, obviously, they seem pleased. And, like, you know, and, and then, you know, the, with the intention to release this before – 2020s Mary Monarch, right? Like, I mean, this is like, there was no pandemic in, your, in, in, our, in our minds or the pandem- pandemic was like, oh, it's not going to reach Hawaii or whatever, you know, like, if we're going to go, I mean, it was kind of like, you know, like touch and go in those initial months, you know, January, February, even March, you know, when is Mary Monarch going to happen? You know, it's never been canceled before. So can you talk about, talk about that, you know, the process of like releasing it and then like with, with the, you know, the, the, you know, the very high probability every day of Mary Monarch getting canceled. Yeah, I, yeah I, that was crazy times. I mean, you're, you're reminding me of the beginning of this whole thing because that's when um, we were going through this process of what we're going to do with the film. Um, and I, I think we were talking about, you know, going back and forth with it because the, the initial idea was to kind of release it uh, for HIF this year, mm-hmm. kind of big just unveiling and, and make it like, you know, a festival film. Uh, we had no intentions of, re- you know, releasing it right before Mary Mark or anything like that. Uh, we were just going to watch, enjoy, and have private screenings, you know, with the employees and, and everyone. Avi and Elisa were very just, uh, just totally big cheerleaders for the project. And even afterwards, we're... Um, building kind of these big things where we're going to start conversations with the community, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and have these screens where we can uh, be proud of, uh, of Hula and the culture and yeah. engage our community. So that's why it's, for me, it's, it's heartbreaking because, you know, when we were talking about that and we we're in the process of doing all that, I think Luana was uh, going kind of back and forth about whether she's going to cancel or not. And I can only imagine what, uh, what she was feeling, um, you yeah. know, with that because they never canceled. And um, yeah. one of the most proud moments for me is 
being able to share the film with her and saying how much it means to her. Uh, and, and then immediately after seeing that she had to cancel it, it was like just devastating. Uh, yeah. So, um, you know, it, it blew our plans. And so that's, that's why when they canceled Mary Mark, we were like, the only thing that makes sense is we're going to, we're going to put this, you know, online for a little bit just so people can get a sense of Mary Monarch. And, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Which I think was a great um, plan B, essentially. You know, you, you put it online for a limited time, but also it was broadcast statewide on, um, you know, uh, TV stations as well, you know, to, I mean, I mean, just like, because the Mary Monarch is such an important cultural event. Um just for the people of Hawaii. So like, you know, I mean, again, it's the Super Bowl of Hula, right? And like, yeah. you know, like it's like, it would be broadcast live, you know, for a weekend in April, right? It's like, you know, like it's like, and that was like, you know, for a lot of people, this, this, this is like, they're, this is, you know, they, 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 they uh, have like viewing parties and, you know, they, you know, they, they, and whatnot. It's a, it's a competition. It's just like, it's a huge. Yeah. So, I mean, to have that, uh, I mean, just heartbreaking to have such a major cultural event get canceled, and you know, and then eventually, many cultural events around the world are getting canceled, like the Olympics yeah. or whatever. So yeah. like, it's like, I mean, it was ultimately the best. I mean, we actually we actually had to cancel our spring showcase, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's like you know, I mean, you know, it was inevitable, but to have that, um, um, you know, alternative to to get it out there for the people and change your plans. Um, uh, was uh, you know I think the best choice and I think it, it really really did touch a lot of people's um, minds and hearts you know so uh, yeah and and one of the big things that I think you know people you know uh, might need to understand is is it got canceled but all all those dancers and groups were uh, already trained and did that whole journey that you see in the film leading yeah. up to it for yeah. it to get canceled you can imagine. Um, how sad that is Absolutely. and how hard that is. Right? Yeah. 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 So um, it, Cause you gotta, you gotta scrap everything. You gotta start all over again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, cause like, yeah, it's, it's, it's cause, cause they're like, they're training. It's like, they're athletes, you know, and yeah. this is their one. Yeah. This is their, you know, their, uh, their, their kind of moment to shine. Cause it ultimately is, it is, you know, not only a showcase, but it is a competition, you know? So, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely across the board, very heartbreaking, but you know, I mean like, you know, that's, that's why I think, you know, for us, like, you know, our, you know, pre COVID, you know, like it's like our mandate, you know, as, as a film, film festival, you know, we have, you I mean, we have these protocols, like, you know, we, we have to shut premieres and all that stuff. And like, you know, you did air the, you know, the, the, the film on, you know, again, uh, for a limited time on, on, TV stations and also online, but, you know, again, this is like, this is a unique situation and like, and for us, like, you know, as we, you know, kind of pivoted to kind of this online space and streaming platforms, uh, you know, but the majority of our festival was uh, streaming and also not only streaming in Hawaii, not only in Hawaii, but nationwide and, but also for uh, this film worldwide. So yeah. this is like, this is, you know, an opportunity for us. This is like, okay, this is like the perfect opportunity for us to kind of put this film uh, on our platform to kind of like for for everyone wh wherever you are wherever you live you know you could be in like you can be in like you know uh Nanakuli or like uh the Nepali coast or like or you can be in Nantucket you know or or, yeah. or you can be in yeah like it's like you know or you can yeah. be in Japan or China or whatever yeah like yeah, yeah this is a great opportunity for you know for us for you for everyone to experience and watch this amazing film, yeah because so. the the first go around was for the locals you know yeah. for for people who know Mary Mark was coming and they would be the ones that would know about the film, you know, mm -hmm. um, whereas this, uh, screening of the film, cause we, we've been, you know, to LA Asian Pacific film yep. festival as well, but that's, you know, for South Southern, Southern California. California. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this HIF version is going to be for worldwide. You know, worldwide for people yeah. who are looking for film. Yeah. So it's a different audience. Yeah. Um, and and it's outside of that first audience and, and kind of it was meant as a gift, you know. Yeah. And yeah. um you know, well uh everyone who's seen it has has, you know, kinda of echoed uh how we felt when we were making it, which is mm -hmm. why Hawaii is so unique. Um, yeah. and why 
the culture is thriving and doing amazing things. You know? Yeah. I mean, how are, I mean, my, my, before we close this Q&A, like, I mean, just like being actually at Marion Monarch, just capturing whatever you can as, you know, a documentarian, you know, like, you want to get the gold, right? You want to get the gold, you want to, you want to get the, the, the scenes that are like, the, the, oh, these are, this is going to be great for the documentary, right? Like, it's like, so how is that just experience? I mean, you, you said it was like a, a very short, truncated schedule, and I mean, you, you were like running and gunning it, uh, but how was it just experiencing Mary Monarch, you know, just behind the scenes, you know? Oh, it's, it's you know, it's life-changing. I yeah. mean, the, there, there's just no other way to describe it because it is like no other. Like, the event itself is, is amazing, mm. but to be in the action with three different styles of hula, three different uh, yeah. ways of doing it, three different types of people uh, um, sharing their culture and their skills um, is is quite amazing, and you can't leave without it being touched. And um, these are rock stars in the Hulu community. Uh, forget yeah. about you know just Hawaiian Airlines, but they're just rock stars. Everyone just looks up to them, and so um, when you hear their stories and they share their um, their knowledge, and um, it, it is the probably the, one of the most amazing projects I've ever worked on for that yeah. reason. And you're going full throttle, um, you know, a, a typical job like this, you clock in and out and this job, you don't, you just, you're like, we're going to, we're going to go where this story leads us. And that last night where they announced the winners, people, I don't know, if, you know, most people know, but they announced them like 11 midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know, um, uh, Kaleo's group uh, is 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 crazy. They go, they clean out their lockers. They got kind of a secret base uh, where they operate out, and uh, they they just keep going. So they clean it out, and immediately they go to the volcano to the crater and oh, wow. finish out the kapu um, yeah. uh, cycle, yeah. and uh, they offer up everything and so by that time it's like four in the morning uh and they were we're headed back to the airport you know to catch at like 6 a.m so wow um, that's the kind of intensity yeah and then at the same time you're you're toggling between different halal uh you know right and, so you, and, you essentially had three different camera crews right no no <laughs> oh you just you're going back and forth like every, like wow yeah. that's crazy wow that, that's what I'm, uh, i can't stress it enough this yeah, is yeah, like yeah, yeah. a huge undertaking with just the small rag tech crew that wow. we had wow i mean initially that was the idea but just we just didn't have a budget to right, right, do right, that right. right so we're like okay well i mapped out important beats uh -huh. in their in their schedules and so we, we we would drive from place to place where they were going because yeah. they're not always at, at a home base they're moving all over the place so yeah. for those three days the mary monarch is the most in, in, intense. intense insane wow. uh schedule you would ever see and it, it's just me kyle kasaki shunika yeah 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 matt denif that's it wow and covering everything um, so, That's bananas. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You, you. No, I, I mean, you know, and that's that's why I'm even more proud because yeah. it's like, uh, uh, the, it was just the smallest cruise possible, um, and and I think uh, Keanu and Lono said it best. They're mm -hmm. like, um, you know, <laughs> the camera crew was just lucky to be there. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, right. because there is no double takes or do it over. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they, they were lucky. They caught what they caught. Yeah. You know, and 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 that's exactly what it had to be. If if we were late, if whatever happened, there was no do over. So, right. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, t t time wasn't your friend. Your 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 backs were against the wall, but you guys did a an amazing job. And uh, you know, thank you for making this wonderful film. Uh, but uh, no, congratulations, uh, Gerard, uh, and then Thank kudos you. to your team and everything like that. So, um, so thanks for you know, um, you know just viewing this uh, Q and A for Ka 
Kulakai, uh, the journey to uh, Merry Monarch. Um, just quick, quick uh, housekeeping bits uh, before we sign off. For program updates, go for the most up-to-date information for program updates and additions to our program. And the full schedule of films, events, HIF, stop, HIF talk story sessions, and Q&As, visit our website at hif.org. And also, this film is also eligible for the Audience Award. To participate in our Hawaii News Now Audience Award voting, uh, please head to hawaiinewsnow.com slash hif to cast your vote for your favorite narrative, documentary, and short films. And mahalo to Hawaii News Now for their support. And we also want to thank um, our uh, special, special mahalo uh, to all of our HIF sponsors, board of directors, and our HIF Ohana members, and also our volunteers. So um, thank you again, and we'll see you on the next film. Mahalo. Mahalo.